Hey Forkers, welcome back. Uh, you know, take a second, do the subscription thing before we move on. So here we are. Today I'm going to try out Harvey's plant-based burger made by Light Life, uh, a company uh, owned by Maple Leaf Canada, I believe. So I hope you don't think that all I do is eat uh, plant-based fast food, because I've done a bunch of these videos now. I don't. This is a very special treat for me. This is like maybe a once in a month thing, if that. Really, I try these foods and then I almost never have them again. Um, not that they're bad, but I just find that I'd rather eat food that I make that comes from the grocery store. But it is fun to try because in a pinch, when we're out and about and on the road, it's nice to know which of these ones are decent and which ones I like. So today we're trying the Harvey's plant-based burger. Uh, Harvey's was always one of my favorite fast food restaurants back in the days when I used to eat fast food because I loved the idea of it being, you know, charboiled on a grill. I loved like that whole station where you get to tell them what to put on just like at Subway. Uh, it just made you feel more like you're eating a real piece of food and burger and so I kind of really, really dug that. Uh, pickles, lettuce, tomato, relish, ketchup and mustard. Perfect. Let's try this out. Good. There's those grill marks I was talking about. So yeah, I like this. It tastes... It doesn't blow my mind. It kind of tastes exactly how I expected it would. It doesn't taste greasy. Oh, it's on the same grill. Um, but it's not a flat grill. Things are going through it, so it's not seeping up. And I was watching the lady, the girl did a good job. She was using very different utensils and different space for this than the other burgers. I like all the toppings you can get. I like how fresh it feels. They didn't ask me if I wanted a whole wheat bun, which I was hoping for. I also forgot to ask myself. It has that burgery fast food feel without feeling heavy and gross. Uh, I'll follow up in a couple minutes if that changes. So ultimately, I kind of enjoyed that. It was pretty good. It's definitely not as luscious looking as that burger in the background is in terms of uh, how high it stacks and whatnot. It's a pretty picturesque version of what I had. Uh, although what I had didn't look ugly or, or like a small shriveled up burger either. It was pretty good in that capacity. Uh, so I dug it. I mean, I wouldn't get the fries with this because that's just going to load up your, your, your meal in a way that's not healthy or really filling. I guess the real question for this is I'm out and about for the afternoon is will this thing keep me full? I brought some apples, some very small apples from my apple picking adventure along, and also one of my homemade Lara bars. Uh, the recipe for that is on my website. So uh, I'm assuming that I'll need to dive into those as the afternoon continues, that this won't quite fill me up. I also had a couple carrots on the way over here. So uh, yeah, again, for a quick on the road thing, I think it's, it's totally fine and the kind of thing that's uh, that's okay on rare occasion. And it was tasty, I don't feel greasy or gross yet from having eaten it. Yeah, so I don't know if it's better or worse than the other plant-based burgers out there. It's about an even keel. I think it didn't feel as dense or as thick maybe as the, as the Beyond Burger, but I'd, I'd have to eat them side by side to really know the difference. Both were good, both gave me that burger feeling. It was fine, it's exactly what I expected it to be. Thanks, Forkers.